For many players, the Yonex All England Open 2020 will be more important than ever, as the only Super 1000 tournament left before the Olympic qualification period closes. The Shuttlers will be looking to maximise their ranking points with a good showing in Birmingham. In men's singles, Chinese Taipei's Cho Tianchen will lead the field in the absence of defending champion Kento Momota, who's recovering from a surgery to repair an eye socket fracture. 2019 runner-up Victor Axelsson is seeded second. The Dane plays Thailand's Sitikorn Tamasin in the opening round, but faces a tough challenge later on with Shi Yu Chi and Sai Pranit in the same quarter. The clash of the round is between sixth seed Jonathan Christie and Malaysia's Lee Tzu Chia. Defending champion Chen Yufei returns to the stage that kick-started her remarkable run in 2019, which saw her win seven titles and maintain a 100% record in finals. The top seed has been handed a tough draw, with Korean sensation An Su Young awaiting her in the opening round. Thailand's Busanan Ongbang Rungpan and Rachanok Intanon are also placed in the same quarter, while the semi-final could see a potential matchup against Nozomi Okahara or Prasala V. Sindhu. Third seed Akane Yamaguchi also faces a tricky outing against India's Saina Nehwal, while 2019 runner-up Tai Tzu Ying locks horns with China's Chai Yen Yen. Men's doubles top seeds Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumuljo will be looking to better their first round exit in 2019. The world number ones, however, will have their work cut out, having been drawn in the same quarter as last year's finalist Aaron Chia, Soi Wee Yik, and Kim Astrup Anders Skarup Rasmussen. Defending champions Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan are likely to face strong opposition from the Japanese contingent, with the likes of Hideyuki Endo, Yuta Watanabe and Takeshi Kimura Kego Sonoda awaiting them in the later rounds. First, they'll have to get past Akira Koga, Taichi Saito. The standout clash, though, is between next-gen stars Takuro Hoki, Yugo Kobayashi, and Choi Solgyu, Seo Seung Jae. Women's doubles defending champions and top seeds Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yi Fan go up against the Stoeva sisters in their opening fixture and are likely to meet seventh seeds Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi in the quarterfinals. The Japanese pair will be desperate for a good showing with their Olympic qualification hanging in the balance. Drawn in the same half are third seeds Yuki Fukushima Sayaka Hirota and Koreans Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young. Zhang Xiwei and Huang Yachong will be looking to make it three titles in three this year. Seeded first in Birmingham, the Chinese pair have an easy route to the quarterfinals, but given that they have been out of action for over a month, there may be some cobwebs to dust off. Zhang and Huang will potentially meet Xiu Xiong Jie and Che Yu Jung in the last eight, but the sixth seeds must first tackle 2019 semi finalist Go Sun Kwat and Shevon Jemi Lai. Also in the top half are eight seeds Hafiz Faisal, Gloria Emanuel Wijaja will go up against home favourites Chris and Gabrielle Adcock in the first round. The 2019 edition saw China emerge the most successful nation with three titles out of the five contested. The biggest surprise of which was Chen Yufei clinching the women's singles title as the shuttler trumped then world number one Tai Tzu Ying in straight games. Tai was the overwhelming favourite heading into the final and was also bidding for a hat-trick of All England titles, but was undone at the final hurdle. The Chinese Taipei player recalls her week in Birmingham. I印象比较深刻应该是我本来其实没有抱着说会打到决赛的希望因为其实我在那前面就是受伤没有练习对到我到了 呃，英国之后还是伤还是没有好，所以其实是算是比较嗯应付的，在去打那比赛，因为但还是在比的过程中，当然还是很很尽力啦。但是就是知道自己有伤，对啊，所以在打的时候有比较多的顾虑。那
比较前面。那其实打到四强的时候，因为知道会遇到亚马古基，所以打的时候其实也想着说，应该就是会输了，因为自己知道自己没有练习，对啊，所以就会想说，哦，可能会被操得很累，因为要跑很很多。就是跑很久，对啊，所以但是蛮意外的结果就是还赢了。那到隔天，那更不用讲了，他这么稳定，对，其实我赢的几率自己也知道不是很高。So get ready for some nail biting action coming to you from Birmingham as the 110th edition of the All England Open gets underway from the 11th of March.